Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. On March 19, 2024, the foreign military sales announced that the U.S. Department of State had approved a military sale to the government of Bahrain, including M1A2 Abrams SEPV-3 main battle tanks and associated equipment, for an estimated cost of $2.2 billion. The Defense Security Cooperation Agency delivered the required certification notifying Congress of this possible sale. Bahrain's request includes the purchase of 50 M1A2 SEPV-3 Abrams tanks, for M88A2 Hercules combat recovery vehicles, 8 joint assault bridges M1110, 8 M1150 assault breacher vehicles, heavy assault bridging scissors, as well as 7.62mm M240 coaxial machine guns, AGT-1500 gas turbines, 120mm multipurpose target practice rounds with tracer, TPMPT, and 120mm high explosive multipurpose with tracer rounds, among other equipment. The request also includes M2A 1.50 caliber machine guns, remote weapon stations, advanced repair systems, smoke grenade launchers, training ammunition, heavy equipment transport systems, testing and support equipment, spare and repair parts, communication equipment, SOSM GPS modules, selective availability anti-spoofing module, and other related support and program elements. The State Department indicated that about 30 American contractors and one official would be sent to Bahrain for up to five years to lead the training. The M1A2 Abrams SEPV-3 System Enhanced Package, also known as M1A2C, introduced in October 2015, is an upgraded version of the M1A2 Abrams SEPV-2 main battle tank with improvements in survivability, maintainability, fuel efficiency, and networking capability. Its enhanced lethality comes from developmental upgrades and the integration of mature technologies, including the ammunition data link, ADL, improved 120mm ammunition, improved forward-looking infrared, IFLER, and the low-profile, LP, common remotely operated weapon system, CROWS. Armed with a 120mm smoothbore gun, a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, and a low-profile, LP, Crows armed with a 12.7mm machine gun, the M1A2 SEPV-3 can fire a variety of ammunition types, including the M829E4 5th-generation kinetic energy anti-tank round with a depleted uranium penetrator, and the advanced multi-purpose, AMP, round, a line-of-sight munition with three modes of operation, enhancing its global effectiveness against heavily armored targets. The tank features a new armor package within the turret and hull to address various threats, including improvised explosive devices, IEDs, and optionally, the Trophy Active Protection System, APS, from Israeli company Rafael, along with all the equipment and combat systems of the M1A2 SEPV2 variant. Powered by a Honeywell AGT-1500 gas turbine engine, the M1A2 SEPV3 can achieve a top speed of 68 km per hour. Technological enhancements such as the ammunition data link, ADL, Under Armour Generator Power Unit, and improved forward looking infrared, IFLER, contribute to the tank's overall capabilities, making it a significant asset in diverse operational conditions. This sale is described as supporting the foreign policy and national security objectives of the United States by helping to improve the security of a major non-NATO ally, which plays a significant role in political stability and economic progress in the Middle East. It aims to enhance Bahrain's ability to face current and future threats by providing a credible force capable of deterring adversaries and participating in regional operations alongside the United States and other partner nations. It is specified that Bahrain will have no difficulty integrating this equipment into its armed forces. The sale of M1A2 SEPV-3 Abrams tanks to Bahrain does not represent a first in the history of exporting this advanced American military hardware. Several countries have previously acquired this modernized version of the Abrams tank, demonstrating its esteemed reputation and enhanced capabilities on an international scale. For instance, Poland confirmed its acquisition of 250 M1A2 SEPV-3 tanks in October 2021, planning to integrate them into the 18th Mechanized Division of the Polish Army. This purchase is part of a broader effort to modernize the Polish Armed Forces. Similarly, in February 2022, the United States approved the sale of 250 M1A2 SEPV-3 tanks to Poland, emphasizing Warsaw's ongoing commitment to bolstering its military capabilities in response to regional security challenges.
Additionally, Australia announced in January 2022 an agreement to modernize its ground warfare capabilities with the purchase of 75 M1A2 SEPV-3 Abrams tanks, as part of an agreement worth approximately $2.5 billion. This modernization plan aims to enhance the capabilities of the Australian Army in the face of future challenges in the Asia-Pacific region. However, despite these previous sales to allied nations of the United States, Bahrain stands out as the first Arab country to acquire the M1A2 SEPV-3 Abrams. This milestone marks a significant development in military cooperation between the United States and Bahrain, bolstering Bahrain's defense capability and its strategic position in the Gulf in the face of regional threats. Bahrain's willingness to modernize its military in close collaboration with the United States is illustrated by signing a strategic security and economic agreement in September 2023. This agreement aims to expand defense and intelligence collaboration between the two countries. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken emphasized that this agreement aims to build a more secure and prosperous region, integrated into the global economy. Bahrain is a Gulf Cooperation Council GCC, member, occupying a strategic key position between regional rivals Iran and Saudi Arabia. The main roles of its armed forces are territorial defense and support for internal security. Bahrain's most critical security relationship is with Saudi Arabia, but the country also maintains a strong defense relationship with the United States, being a major non-NATO ally of the United States since 2002. The U.S. Fifth Fleet is headquartered in Bahrain, as are the U.S.-led Combined Maritime Forces CMF, and the U.K.-led International Maritime Security Construct. Bahrain stands out among Arab nations by being a member of the coalition led by the United States and Britain, which struck Iran-allied Houthi rebels in Yemen for attacks on shipping carried out in solidarity with the Palestinians in the Israel-Hamas conflict. Bahrain has periodically led the operational forces of the CMF. Its armed forces have conducted limited expeditionary deployments in support of the Saudi-led intervention in Yemen, particularly through special forces. As part of a significant modernization of its air force, Bahrain is in the process of acquiring new F-16V fighters and upgrading its existing F-16s to this configuration, in addition to acquiring the Patriot Air and Missile Defense System. In recent years, Bahrain's naval forces have seen modest additions in the form of a former UK patrol ship and formerly American patrol boats and upgrades to other vessels. The armed forces have organic maintenance support, but there is little defense industrial base beyond the limited maintenance support provided by the Arab shipbuilding and repair yard. It's important to note that, beyond this agreement, Bahrain has been a major ally of the United States in the region since 2002 and possesses a significant arsenal of American-origin military equipment, reflecting its close collaboration with the United States in the defense sector. At the heart of its armored vehicle fleet, it owns 100 M60A3 battle tanks, with an additional 80 units in reserve, highlighting the confidence in this robust model. The infantry is supported by 303 armored personnel carriers, including 300 M113A2S, demonstrating a preference for these vehicles in troop transport and protection. Bahrain's artillery capabilities are enhanced by a total of 175 artillery pieces, including 82 self-propelled units with 2155mm M109A5S and 62 203mm M110A2S, and 36 towed artillery pieces, including 28 155mm M198 howitzers. Firepower is complemented by the M270 MLRS multiple launch rocket system, underlining their ability to conduct precise and powerful strikes. Bahrain employs the MIM 23B IHOC medium range surface to air missile system for air defense, offering advanced and flexible air defense capabilities against various aerial threats. In the anti tank domain, the Bahraini army is equipped with BGM 71C and FGM 148 Javelin missiles, as well as HMMWV vehicles equipped with BGM 71A tow systems, illustrating their readiness to counter armored threats with sophisticated means. The infantry force's equipment includes the M16 A2 rifle, the M4 carbine, and the Barrett M82 anti material rifle, ensuring that soldiers are equipped to effectively handle a variety of combat scenarios. That's all for now. See you later.